Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is how to organize your articles in Joomla. This is really important. So I'm going to go back to the administration side and I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to go to content to um, this, this area right here, the content area, the article manager. I'll go to the article manager first and I'll log back in, timed out. And what I'm going to show you is how articles, things that you write, how they're organized. Okay, so here's all the different articles that have been written that are in this site. All right, the sample, these are all sample articles really, right, sample content. And you can see that there's actually way down at the bottom three pages of articles. So if I want to see them all, I can just hit display all and then it will reload and show all of the articles that are available here, right? And notice that um, if they're published, they have a check mark here in the published column. And if they're allowed to be on the front page, they have, they're published on the front page. So you'll see here that we've got um, a number of articles that are published on the front page, right? And you can see here, right off the bat, that on these that are published, you see one, two, three, four, that are published to the front page, you can see that it says news here, and then it says latest. And that's the part that we're going to talk about today, and that is, what are those columns? Those are the section columns and the category columns. So every article that you create, you can or organize by um, a corresponding section and then a category. So I'm sorry, the section column and the category column. So for instance, if I was to create a new article, I just click the new button and I could give it a title, my article, right? And then I'd pick the section that I want. I have uncategorized about Joomla news or frequently asked questions. Now these were created by the people who created this template, right? This is sample sample sections. So I'm going to click news, right? And then notice the category for news. There's two categories. There's news flash and then latest. And I'll just click um, latest. So section news, category latest. If I want it to show up on the front page, I can click the yes to the front page box. And then I can just start, you know, hello, ty start typing. Hello, whoops, uh, everyone, this is my article. Okay. Right? And I can change the font and the style and all that stuff. We'll talk about that later. Alright? If I'm happy with it, let me see here. If, if I'm happy with it, I just hit apply or save. Same thing. Apply will save it, but that'll leave the article open if I want to keep working on it. Save will save the article, but then close the window and take me back to the article manager. So now on the home page, if I refresh the home page or click on home, there is my article right here at the top now. Um, there's my article and it says written by administrator, blah, blah, blah. You can see it right there. So it's now part of this different um, distinction. So when you create your articles, you want to think about, or you create your website, you might want to think about how you're going to categorize and what sections and what categories you're going to put your content. I'll show you how uh, with my website, all right, this is uh, dancecourses.com, you'll see that in this class, if you go to content management systems, you click on content management systems, you'll see there's week three, but you'll also see that there is um, there is week three. There's also down at week two and week one, right? So I've got three articles showing right here under the content management systems link. It takes me to that. So what I did was, if you go to the article manager, you'll see that I created that those articles see if I can find it here for you. Just when you want to do something. There are, there's week three, week two, and week one. The section is called classes 
and then I've got a category called content management systems. So content management systems category is in the classes section, but I've also got flash web design is part of the class section and game programming is part of the class section. So that's how I've organized my site. So if you wanted to see more about that, I could go to the section manager and log back in and go to the section manager and you'll see there's my those are my sections classes announcements about us example blogs and then you can also you can click new to create a new one and then the category manager will show you the categories now with each category that you create you have to give tell it what section it's going to participate in so if I had a new class I could say this is my new class right and make it part of the classes section right published yes and then just hit save no need to apply the alias because Joomla will apply the alias uh, just leave it blank Joomla will create it when you hit save and then you hit save and then you would have a new category called new class